as we are nearing our adulthood, we may start preparing for a coronation ceremony. And so we shall, and only the Pope will be fit to give us our crown. Let's see what he wants this time. Lorenzo thinks I should be less quick to question the words of the priests. So we should become patient, which is a really, 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 really good skill compared to cynically. So yes, is our curiosity will become patient. It's weird because it doesn't even say that this can become patience. But all right, we'll take it. And the Pope wants 250 gold for us to be crowned by him. And we will go for a dignified ceremony. Going into minus real quick, but that's fine. Uh, we can ransom him, probably. Giving us a little bit gold back. There we go, back in the plus. The time of our coronation draws near. Only a few more days before we are crowned queen before God and all my subjects. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Diligent or temperate, that's nice. Everybody is so kind and respectful to me, even a lot of important people that I only met a few days ago. This coronation ceremony is a lot more important than I had thought. Really great to be a queen. I should work hard and show that I know how important this is. Definitely. Definitely. Baron Hagop decided to pick a fight with me during tonight's feast. For whatever reason, he has become... He's come to the conclusion that I am an ungrateful hypocrite. Oh, I hate him too. That's our first rival. Little girl's first rival. That cute. I kneel before Pope Anastasius V with all my reverently silent vassals surrounding us. The Pope gives me an encouraging smile as he blesses me and places the royal crown upon my head as I feel my face turn red. He then proclaims me Queen of Armenia by grace of God. I am truly Queen. Look at that painting here. Lovely artwork. So, this is an interesting thing about games that have emergent gameplay, as it is called these days, where things just kind of. The story is told by events unfolding instead of a preset line of things that are going to happen. Uh, in that, Crusader Kings 2 is very different from other Paradox titles as well, because games like Europa Universalis or Hearts of Iron 4, they have certain events that always trigger, or one or two events that trigger at a certain time, depending. You don't have this a lot here. You have the Black Death uh, to a degree, um, stuff like that, but generally how the world shifts and shapes is very open. and. If you're like me and you play someone from an early age, like we took her reign at the age of one. So we have been with her for 12 years in game, obviously. This moment is something we have waited for, worked towards, hoped to reach it. She has survived the Black Death. She has survived consumption at a very early age. She's a strong woman. I am excited for Queen Karan of Armenia. So this moment where we are crowned by the Pope. I mean, it's always the same text, obviously, but, but still, to me, it's a little bit of an emotional moment. And I'm, I'm really grateful for this game in, in this way, that uh, even after playing that many hours on it and having experienced these events over and over again, due to how you grow attached to the very specific and individual struggles and hardships that your characters keep facing. That there's always this emotional connection. And I love it. 
So now we are crowned by the Pope, which is a really good thing, because it gives us a lot of prestige and vassals like us better for it. So does the church, of course. Can't be more than crowned by the Pope himself. So we are the Queen. There's no doubt about us being the Queen here. Yeah, why is my council so opposed to it? And why... What's going on here? Right. Can we ask him to end this plot? Ah, oh, we can ask him to convert. Let's do that. And we should really get rid of our prisoners as far as we can. The Prince of Armenia for 2.9 gold now. We could kill him. Oh, he's a prisoner of Armenia, not the Prince of Armenia. Well, let's kill the excommunicated man in our prison. Free up the cells. Right, our subject converted. Lovely. What does he have here? Cats exterminated. High taxes. So, for now, we just wait for money to trickle in. Slowly build up our retinues as well. Oh, our newly converted subject has been appointed our regent. Very well then. Can we find a better stewardship man? Yes, we can. This Russian man. Well, he's ambitious. All of these are ambitious. Why are all of these ambitious? This man isn't ambitious. Let's get this man. He's not ideal, but at least he's not ambitious. He's not going to start some backstabbery. So let us make him our new steward. And collect taxes for us. I'm very curious to see what Wolf will turn into. That was a very short-lived marriage proposal there. I really like this. Nice. Okay. I was playing with my new doll I found forgotten in the kitchen when Alfonsi attacked me and tried to take the doll from me. Alfonsia screamed at me. What you? Screamed at me to give back her doll. More agitated as I kept holding on to the doll. Gain two stewardship and lose one diplomacy. Okay, let's become close friends. I can use a friend. Also, my betrothed shaping up anyway. They're looking alright. Okay. Need a new court physician. That'll be that man. Need a court jester. Why do you hate us? Feet on the council. I think we need to put some new faces on the council there. What are you good at? Ah, stop going away. Well, she's an alright chancellor, so we will send her to so descent. And what's the other guy good at? The passable marshal. So he shall passable marshal. Do we have revolt risk anywhere? Yeah, over here, kinda. But he will train troops. Oh. The retinue are growing real slow. Let's put it at full speed. Oh yes. I was wanting... That was what I was clicking around for when I remarked upon how nicely the county sigil looks. 
what we're going to do is we're going to usurp the Emirate of Antioch. Because now we can and afford it. And then we will give it to our spy master. Well, not to our spy master, apparently. Can we give it to him? No. Right, so we will hold it and people are going to hate us for it. Because we are over our limit of two held duchy titles. Oh. The Emirate of Halab was finally absorbed into the Ayyubid Empire. Well, they're actually a kingdom, not an empire. But they are large. Why do I always click on the wrong thing here? So you're fighting your own revolt and you're also fighting... Oh no, the Jihad for Arabia is not going well. Crusader Egypt might be lost. And the Holy Roman Empire has lost Sicily. Intriguing. So we are full steam ahead reinforcing our retinues, which is costly. We have to tune this down. Once they're full, we have to put it back at half. But they should be really strong. For now, we speed things up a little bit. Uh, we could, as we grow older, more prestigious and everything. Let's check into the Mongol world again. Mongols? No. Where are the true Mongols? There are the true Mongols. Let's check his court. If minus five is or zero is the highest that we can find, we're probably not going to be able to find anyone who likes us well enough. And we're not improving relationships anyway right now. Because my dear sister probably shouldn't send her to so descent. That sounds dangerous. She's our only heir. Let's go let her improve diplomatic relationship with me. Them, ah, with the Mongols. Do that. Are you still in your alliance? Yes, you are. It'll break down eventually. And we will be there to capitalize on it. Another count requests a seat on the council. Well, he's actually pretty well suited for this job. Now we have all the powerful vassals on our court. Council. Court and council are different. Oh! He improved our relationship. But it doesn't really help because he really hates us. Alright, and we become ambitious. Which puts us at odds with everyone else who's ambitious. Not super ideal, but the general benefit of everything else is really good. So this is a decent start into the life of rulership. I'm still happy she's strong. Let's see how long she will survive as the queen. News from China. Regardless, they have suffered a crushing defeat, and Mongol armies are journeying home to celebrate. So they are being beaten by the Mongols. So they... Mongols kind of broke apart a little bit here. My master managed to get us some technology points. Where even is the capital of the Mongol Empire currently? Usually somewhere back here, but... Doesn't seem to be there. 
Oh, it just shifted to where we are trying to improve relationships anyway. Anyone here like me? Probably not. That's five. The whole infidel thing. A bit problematic. But if we live long enough, like our dear grandmother. Wow, he's really good at getting us technology points. Could go into majesty a bit more. Take our income. I think I'm gonna dis disband this. I really want to disband these. We have caused ourselves to get a bit of revolt risk, so we're going to suppress. This is also probably the first time I actually pay attention to that. Generally, rebel armies are no threat, but as we have seen, this can very quickly shift and change. For a kingdom as small as ours, beset by enemies on all sides, we must be careful. Dear sister, who are you married to anyway? No one yet. Where is my dear sister? Not available for me to betroth her because... Guessed it. She's her own woman. Make her own choices. Let's hope she makes good choices. But I thought that she was betrothed to someone. Let's see. How, how did it turn out? A mastermind theologian. He can be our court physician for the duration of his existence. And we have become a skilled tactician, which is lovely. Alright, let's get ourselves a designated regent after we've married. Marry first. There we go, and yes, it is everyone's concern. So, okay. First things first. We don't need to do anything here, but we could. We're not going to offend the Pope with the free investiture. We should increase our centralization a little bit, because it doesn't cost us anything. Or... We increase how many troops our nobles are going to send us. Our nobles are not going to be too happy with it. Um, yeah, let's go this route. Let's do this. Why do I have any say over the kingdom of Anatolia? Because I think we de jure part of it. That's a little bit weird. There's some black magic behind the curtains going on there. So we have our husband. Who, let's pick an ambition. Would like to groom an heir or see the realm prosper now. We want an heir. Real quickly. Designated regent. Let's check. Our bishop could be our designated regent. Yes. Godly have been good and kind to us. Court physician. Our husband. Definitely that. Keeper of swans. That'll be our sister. And our steward, well, our spy master will be master of the hand. I almoner will be our marshal. 
And the Seneschal shall be our steward. Commanders are all set up nicely. And we will pick war to further increase our martial ability. So now our potential armies are also much, much larger. There is a dangerous faction. Are you people kidding me? All right, it's time to give out county titles, I would say. To our dear sister, the Duchy of Edessa. And we will transfer vassalship of Tehran to her. She also gets Tel Bashir. And let us have her religiously convert real quick. She of course does. And transfer vassalage, you get the master man of Tehran. And down here. You are young. You're brave. You're a Jew. You have an heir. You're Catholic. You're kind. A hunchback. Kids are Catholic too. All right, let him be our Duke of Antioch. Very good. So now it's just us and two duchies. Ruled over by our sister who loves us, our spy master who also loves us. And we need to redistribute some titles here. Designated regent will be our sister. Fort Jester will be no one. High Almoner will be... Why can't we do a bishop here? The Baron of Adana. Seneschal shall be... What is Seneschal again? Peace and domestic entertainment. That'll be this man. Or two tours, all good, all fine, all well out here. So now we need to refill our positions because all these good people were elsewhere. And we will take the mayor of Lamas. We will take Camilla the ill-tempered sounds like a bad choice. She's depressed and everything. Okay, we're not going to take anyone here. Can we... No, our husband. Okay, let's find some learned man. Or woman. Someone who's young as well. Can't invite him. Okay. Yeah, let's get this Egyptian man, which we can't because he's dead. He's the next best we can get. Yeah, the kingdom of King of Croatia. He's definitely... Why is he even showing up here? Okay, we're just inviting some capable men. Right, let's compose a book. We have the money. And we will be tackling the complexity of war. Or something along those lines. Right, there's one. Uh, it wasn't this man, it was this guy. 
Cool. Collect us some taxes. How's the revolt risk looking? All good. So you go train troops. And our court chaplain has also a bro. Now I think he declined and I just didn't read it again. Go, we support your band. Okay. I'll retin you up. Full strength. We put this down to half. In case they get damaged, we don't pull out of our nose. To pay for the upkeep. Ah. He's not of the right religion. That is why he can't be. Uh, my religion. Say my religion. He looks nice. Left-handed. Which apparently is a drawback. All right, he can be our court chaplain. And chaplain our court. Uh, speaking of which, we probably should look into converting those areas that need conversion. That's his first job. Let's check through our council if anyone would like to marry. You would like to marry, so you get someone. Get her. Then maybe we can even ask him to convert. Yes, cool. Nice. Our court chaplain can definitely marry. So who do you get? This concubine is who you get. Right, okay. So right now, what we're going to do is just wait for an heir. Watch the world at large abroad and hope for a opportunity to grow instead of uh, be squashed by all these huge Muslim kingdoms around us who are very much keen on squashing us. 